In this video, we shall learn about the physical features of Asia. Well, to begin with, Asia is bordered by oceans on three sides. To its north lies the Arctic Ocean and to the south is the Indian Ocean and to its eastern coast is bounded by the Pacific Ocean. In the west, Asia is separated from Europe by the Ural Mountains, Caspian Sea, Caucasus Mountains and Black Sea. In the southwest, it is linked with Africa through the Sinai Peninsula. The narrow Bering Strait separates Asia from North America in the extreme northeast. The countries of Asia can be divided into different groups based on their locations. Well, the major groups are East Asian countries, North Asian countries, Central Asian countries, Southeast Asian countries, South Asian countries and the countries of West Asia. In East Asia, we have countries like China, North and South Korea, Japan, Taiwan and Mongolia. In North Asia, we have Russia. In Central Asia, the countries are Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan, Kyrgyzstan, Tajikistan, Turkmenistan and Afghanistan. The Southeast Asian countries are Vietnam, Laos, Cambodia, Thailand, Myanmar. The southern part consists of the island countries of Malaysia, Singapore, Brunei, Indonesia, East Timor and Philippines. The South Asian countries include India, Pakistan, Nepal, Sri Lanka, Bhutan, Maldives and Bangladesh. The West Asian countries consist of Saudi Arabia, Yemen, Oman, United Arab Emirates, Qatar, Bahrain, Kuwait, Iran, Iran, Armenia, Azerbaijan, Lebanon, Cyprus, Syria, Turkey, Georgia, Jordan, Israel, Central Mountains. To the south of the northern lowlands lies an extensive young fold mountain system called the Central Mountains. Almost all the mountain ranges of Asia radiate from one nodal point in the center and this is called the Pamir Knot from which chains of mountain ranges run in all directions. There are two ranges that lie to the west of the Pamir Knot. They are the Hindu Kush and the Suleiman. The Hindu Kush range extends westward and continues along the Caspian Sea as the Elbers Mountains. Suleiman range runs first as the Kirthar range and then the Jagros Mountains. The Elbers and Jagros converge at the Armenia Knot. From here they diverge westward as the Pontic Mountains and the Taurus Mountains. There are two intermontane plateaus in this region. One is the plateau of Iran that lies between the Elbers and the Jagros and the plateau of Anatolia is enclosed between the Pontic and the Taurus mountains. To the east of the Pamir North lie five mountain ranges. They are the Himalayas, Karakoram, Kunlun, Altyan Tag, Tinsha. The Himalayas run southeastward into the North India and Nepal. 
they are the highest mountain ranges in the world mount everest mount everest is the world's highest peak is in this range further east the himalayas bend southward and continue as the arkan yoma in myanmar the karakoram range lies to the north of himalayas also known as the godwin austen the second highest peak in the world the kunlun mountains run eastward from pamir north and extend into china the altian tag runs in the northeast direction and continues into china the tian sha is the northernmost range branching out from the pamir north and extends northeastward into china the other important ranges include altai kingan yablo novai stanovai Suyan Mountains, Warko Yangs Mountain, Kolyama Mountains, and Ural Mountains. Then comes the Tibetan Plateau. It is surrounded by the massive mountain ranges of Asia. The plateau is bordered to the south by the Inner Himalayan Range, to the north by the Kunlun Mountains. which separates it from the tarim basin and to the northeast by the quilian mountains to the east and the southeast of the plateau lies the mountainous headwaters of the salween mekong and yangtze rivers in northwest yunnan and western sichuan next is the mongolian plateau The Mongolian plateau has an area of approximately 32 lakh square kilometers. It is bounded by the greater Hingan mountains in the east, the Yin mountains to the south, the Altai mountains to the west, and the Sayan and Kentai mountains to the north. The plateau includes the Gobi Desert as well as the dry steppe regions. It has an elevation of roughly thousand to one thousand five hundred meters, with the lowest point in Hulan Boyer and the highest point in Altai. Next, the Central Siberian Plateau. It is made up of sharply jagged, demarcated surfaces of varying altitudes, occupying most of Siberia between the Yangtze. and lena rivers it extends over an area of 3.5 million square kilometers to the north of the plateau are the putoron mountains the highest point while to the south are the eastern sayan and the baikal mountains to the east the plateau gives way to the low lying land of the yakuts the central siberian plateau covers one third of siberia next the yunnan plateau or yungai plateau it is a highland region located in southwest china the region is primarily spread over the province of yunnan and gyeongsang in the southwest the yongi is a true plateau with relatively flatter highland areas while in the northwest yongi is a generally mountainous area of rolling hills gorges and karst topography next comes the plateau of arabia it rises steeply along the red sea coast and slopes eastward towards the persian gulf in a dry desert region next the anatolian plateau it is a central upland region of the ancient region of anatolia which is today's turkey The plateau is hemmed in by two parallel mountain ranges. One is the Taurus to the south and the Mediterranean coast and the Pontic Mountains to the north along the coast of the Black Sea. Now, let us learn about the plains. First one, the West Siberian plain. It is a large plain that occupies the western portion of Siberia between the Ural Mountains to the west and the Yangtze River. in the east and by the altai mountains on the southwest much of the plain is poorly drained and consists of some of the world's largest swamps and flood plains next one is 
North East China Plain, also known as the Manchurian Plain. It is located in the Northeast China. It lies between the Greater and Lesser Qinggan and Changbai Mountains, covering 3,50,000 square kilometers. It is China's largest plain with an elevation of lower than 200 meters. Then it is the North China Plain. It is formed by the deposits of the Yellow River and Yangtze. It is the largest alluvial plain of China. The plain is bordered to the north by the Yanshan Mountains, to the west by the Taihang Mountains, to the south by the Dabi and Tianmu Mountains, and to the east by the Yellow Sea. The Yellow River flows through the middle of the plain into the Bohai Sea. Next is the Mesopotamian Plain. It lies in Iraq. It is a land between two rivers, Tigris and Euphrates. Next is the Island Chains. Well, a series of island chains lie to the east and the southeast of the mainland Asia. These groups of islands extends in an arc forming archipelagos. From the tip of the Kamchatka Peninsula in the Pacific Ocean onwards, these are the Kuril Islands, the Japanese Islands that includes Hokkaido, Honshu, Shikoku, Kyushu, then it is the Reyuku, the Philippines and the Indonesian Islands, the Andaman and Nicobar Islands and Lakshadweep. Then we have some important deserts. They are first one, the Gobi Desert. It is the largest desert of Asia. Then we have the Takla Makhan Desert the largest desert of China. Thar Desert, which is shared by both India and Pakistan. And the Syrian Desert, 